welcome back to Truly Outrageous. Why am I hissing? Well, we got a request from one of our subscribers, Matthew Fawn, and he would like us to draw a coral snake. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we get into it, a little bit about our goal here on the channel. We're trying to reach as many of you as we possibly can and teach you how to draw, because we love art so much. The way that we know that we're reaching our goal is by the amount of subscribers that we have. This month, February, we're trying to reach 1,200 subscribers. So if you wanna come join us and support the channel and reach that 1,200, go down below, click that subscribe button, and turn the notifications on by slapping the bell so you're getting our latest content. And don't forget to spread the word about Truly Outrageous. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your brother, tell your sisters, tell your cousins, third cousins, fourth cousins, 86 cousins, to come over to Truly Outrageous, learn how to draw and have some fun. All right, let's get into drawing a coral snake. So let's get started on our coral snake. So for this drawing, you're gonna need a piece of paper, a drawing utensil, I'm using a marker. Feel free to use whatever's most comfortable for you. That means pencils, ballpoint pens, whatever. And then when we move on to the coloring step, coral snakes have a very simple color palette. So this is what I'm using, just some yellows, reds, and black. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an S shape. So that's gonna come across like this, down, kind of over to the side, like that. Next, we're gonna come down just a little bit because coral snakes have kind of a small head. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna pull that over. But as we kind of get down on the neck here, make it a little bit wider and we're just going to keep pulling that line across so about there and then we're going to pull that up a bit like that and curve this line over connected to the neck like that then we're going to take this line here I'm going to pull that across like that so it gives a little bit of separation um, so you can see there's different sides of the snake. So next we're gonna continue this line here. So pretend that this goes all the way through. This is gonna go down. Another curved line here. And over like that. We're gonna stop there. And then we're gonna pretend that uh, there's some bottom part here. And we're gonna pull that over, starting at about right here, all the way over. Keep that going, up, and around like that. And then we're gonna pick up this line right here, and we're gonna draw that down a little bit because the snake's bodies are really curvy and they have lots of bends in them. And then again, like we did before here, we're gonna pretend that this line continues all the way through. It's gonna go like this around like that. Then we're going to pull a side off like this. So kind of similar to what we did over here. Pull that down and then we're just going to curve that back in. Put that line under there. Same thing on this side. Curve that line in like that. And then over here, curve that in like that. So you can kind of see the snake's body goes through multiple turns there. And then just to give us a little bit of indication of the bottom of the snake, we're gonna pull a line off of here. So curve up, we're gonna follow this line here. Curve that up and over and down like that. So now we have the coils of the snake, like that. Next, we're gonna draw the head. The head is going to come down like this and we'll out a little bit. That's gonna be the ridge of the eye right there. Then it's gonna come down like this. And we're gonna stop there. And we're gonna pull a line off here, curve that up. That's the top of that eye there. Bring that in just a little bit so it's almost the point. And then we're gonna cap that off like that. Then we're gonna pull the line down across like that. 
and we're gonna go up and down. So that's that little area where their tongue kind of comes out. And then we'll start over here and we'll bring the line down and over like that. And last but not least, we'll do that lower jaw. So the lower jaw starts about here, comes down, over, and up into the upper part of the mouth. Next, we're gonna draw the eye. So the eye is just a big old circle. Just go up, over, around, and down, like that. And last but not least, we'll give him a nostril on his head, like that. All right, next we're gonna draw the stripes and we're gonna draw ours like the Eastern Coral Snake. So the Eastern Coral Snake's kind of, kind of this yellow line that comes almost across their eye, but it's a little bit behind. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna take a line like this, gonna curve it up like that. Same thing over here, we're going to curve a line following that one like this. And then we're just gonna keep those curved lines going. There's a little bit of space in between the, the yellow bands. And so I'll show you how that spread out. So just keep curving those lines. We're giving them uh, the body that 3D rounded shape by putting these lines in. And we're just gonna keep those going all the way down this neck. I'll speed this part up so you guys don't get bored of me drawing lines. All right, and I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to color in the snake's eye. So this is really easy, just kind of a black. Uh, we're gonna just color this in black. And then we're gonna leave a little bit of the white space again to show our light source. So there you have it, your coral snake. One thing to pay attention to uh, while I was drawing there is the, when you're drawing the bands and you're making those curved lines, see this line right here where we switch sides? Just remember that you want to um, switch the direction in which the bands are going. So see how this curves this way, but then when we jump to the other side, it curves this way. And that's because this part right here is where you make the switch. So this, could, this is gonna come all the way around down because we're turning that side there so this shows all the way over and then we've made that switch now we have a curve that's going this direction all right and there you have your line work done for your coral snake and now it's time for the gratuitous cringeworthy slightly annoying dead joke okay why did the old man fall in the well because he couldn't see that well. Yeah! All right, let's move on to our coloring step and we'll move as quickly as a slithering snake starting right now. There you have it, your fully colored coral snake. You can see during my coloring process, I actually switched from black to a dark gray because I realized if you color the face in and all black, you lose all the facial features. Facial features, there you go, Neil. Um, so helpful tip, don't use black, use a dark gray when you're coloring in the black parts of the snake. Big thanks again to Matthew Fawn for the idea of coloring the coral snake. I had lots of fun doing it and I hope you guys did too. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Don't forget to go down below and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach 1,200 subscribers by the end of this month. Don't forget to tell all your friends about Truly Outrageous and don't forget to have a great day wherever you are. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.